Red Eye Radio on Westwood One. Join the conversation using the Shell Rotella hotline, 866-907-3339. Red Eye Radio at Shell Rotella. What matters is inside. You didn't become a trucker for the accolades. You did it because you loved the open road. The long stretches of scenic highway are a reward in themselves. The beautiful mountain passes, boundless deserts, and cityscapes on the horizon that creep up and become bustling metropolises help make it all worth it. And as the wheels keep on turning, you keep on earning. That's why we've designed Shell Rotella synthetic engine oils. They provide longer drain intervals compared to conventional engine oils to keep you on the road longer and protect your engine against wear, deposits, oil breakdown, and the tough temperatures you may encounter along the way. Shell Rotella synthetic engine oils keep your truck running smoothly wherever the journey takes you. So at your next oil change, ask for Shell Rotella synthetic engine oil and get back on the open road. Shell Rotella, the engine oil that works as hard as you. The Trucker's Jamboree is the biggest truck and party on the planet. This year, the Trucker's Jamboree is going virtual. That's right, we're taking the party online. Visit truckersjamboree.com to enter the antique truck display, Trucker's Best Friend Pet Contest, and Super Truck Beauty Contest. Enter the contest and submit photos by June 30th. America will vote for their favorite trucks and pets starting on July 1st. Then, Eric Harley will announce the Super Truck winners on July 11th. We're even throwing a 100th birthday party for our 1920 GMC virtually with the Iowa 80 Trucking Museum. This year only, the Trucker's Jamboree is online. Go to truckersjamboree.com and enter the antique truck display, super truck beauty contest, and trucker's best friend pet contest. Then, vote starting July 1st. This year, we can't wait to see you at the 2020 virtual Trucker's Jamboree. We're coming home, truckers, to the Trucker's Jamboree. If you're a trucking industry professional, then you need to stay on top of changing regulations, equipment upgrades, and technology advancements. Fleet Owner Magazine gives you all of this and more. Written for fleet executives and managers, Fleet Owner gives you the business intelligence on operations, vehicle maintenance, regulations, and information technology you need to stay ahead. But that's not all. With its monthly print publication, weekly email newsletters, and a website updated several times a day, Fleet Owner has all the latest news and information delivered to you when you want it and where you want it. From industry experts to award-winning writers and columnists, Fleet Owner is the number one source for trucking information in North America. Remember to visit FleetOwner.com every day for the latest industry news. You can also sign up to receive Newsline, their free email newsletter, and subscribe to Fleet Owner Magazine. That's FleetOwner.com. Fleet Owner, for news you can use. Armstrong and Getty, mornings. This is San Diego's Talk, AM 760, KFMB, San Diego. is CBS News on the Hour, your home for original reporting. I'm Tom Foti in Washington. With the nation's COVID-19 death count approaching 130,000 ahead of Independence Day, President Trump was in South Dakota for a 4th of July ceremony. Featuring cheers and fireworks with no social distancing and few masks. His focus, too, was mostly elsewhere. Our nation is witnessing a merciless campaign to wipe out our history, defame our heroes, erase our values, and indoctrinate our children. Those claims in reaction to what has been going on after the Minnesota police death of George Floyd and other incidents like it. One of them happened last year, but is reverberating now near Denver in Aurora, Colorado, where several police officers have been fired after posing for pictures that mocked a fatal chokehold on a black man. CBS's Jamie Ucas reports. Three officers laughing and mocking the chokehold used on Elijah McClain. It shows a lack of moral values and integrity and a judgment that I can no longer trust to allow them to wear this badge. And they won't. Wilson fired Erica Morero and Kyle Dietrich after Jaron Jones resigned. Also kidding? fired a fourth officer, Jason Rosenblatt, who responded ha ha to the picture. He was involved in the original incident. 
Those calls for changes around the country mentioned by the president have not only led to removal of Confederate history and other statues and plaques of honor, but are reaching into the sports world in a big way. First in Washington, where correspondent Nicole Killian reports. After years of resisting a name change, the Washington Redskins called a reverse Friday. In a statement, the team said, in light of recent events around our country and feedback from our community, the Washington Redskins are announcing the team will undergo a thorough review of the team's name. Times are changing. This is a moment. Uh, Josh Silver um, is founder of Rebrand Washington Football, a fan group that has been petitioning the team to remove the Native American slur for years. Not long after that, baseball's Cleveland Indians announced they too are looking at a possible name change after mostly phasing out a team logo long criticized as at least insensitive. In Hoover, Alabama, an eight-year-old boy was killed in a shooting at a shopping mall that left three other people injured. Mayor Frank Broccato. So this afternoon I visited with the parents of the child that we lost and uh, this was an, just a very senseless tragedy and of course they are devastated by this. And I want to ask uh, all of the citizens of Hoover and the metropolitan area to pray for this family keep them in your prayers this is cbs news cbs news radio is your home for breaking news with our team of reporters around the country and the world we give you the coverage you can trust can the daily recommended servings of fruits and vegetables fit into just six capsules yes we start by sourcing organically grown whole fruits and vegetables. We ensure they are picked at peak ripeness. All of our produce is third-party tested for pesticides, heavy metals, bad bacteria, and nutrients. They are then washed, cut, and put through an advanced vacuum-cold process, which removes the water using pressure. This maximizes the nutritional value while preserving the color, smell, and taste of the fruit or vegetable. The freeze-dried food is then ground into a fine powder without adding any additives, fillers, or extracts. These powdered foods are then mixed in our proprietary blends and encapsulated, locking out air and moisture. The capsules are then bottled and shipped directly to our customers. Balance of Nature is now offering 35% off on any new preferred order. Go to balanceofnature.com today and use discount code FRUITS. More now on the 4th of July in the age of COVID-19 from one of the current hotspots, Florida. I'm Peter King. Thousands of people are expected this weekend on Cocoa Beach. No matter how many people are on that beach, it does not change the amount of people that are allowed in our establishment. Angela Johnson owns a beachside restaurant where employees must wear masks and customers are spaced for safety. She hopes to make up for lost time. Financially, we are so grateful we're open at this time. It obviously was a heavy hit for us to be closed. The only limits on the beach at Self or for groups, 10 people or less. There are no other COVID-19 safety rules. The mayor says if you don't like crowds, don't go. Peter King, CBS News, Orlando. Overseas, an online video on some messages claiming responsibility for a fire that analysts say damaged a centrifuge assembly plant at an Iranian nuclear site is now deepening a mystery around that incident, even as Tehran insists it knows the cause. Tom Foti, CBS News. Every weekend on Your Money, Your Wealth, certified financial planner Joe Anderson and certified public accountant Big Al Clopine answer your most pressing money questions. You'll laugh while you learn strategies to help you retire successfully. Tune in to Your Money, Your Wealth every Saturday at 10 a.m. and every Sunday at 3 p.m. right here on AM 760 KFMB. Ask your money questions, subscribe to the YMYW podcast, and listen on demand at yourmoneyyourwealth.com. Presented by Pure Financial Advisors. Hi, Grandma. Can you come over for dinner? Sure. I've been meaning to ask you, what would happen if someone offered you a drink? Grandma! If anyone ever does, I want you to say, no, I have too much respect for my family and I don't want to get in trouble. I promise, Grandma. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. That's underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. This message brought to you by SAMHSA and this station. It's a service of Shell Rotella. Get in touch with Red Eye Radio, toll free at 866-90-RED-EYE. 
miss a show? Listen anywhere, anytime, on demand to catch up on Eric and Gary's topics of the day. Visit RedEyeRadioShow.com and click On Demand. You didn't become a trucker for the accolades. You did it because you loved the open road. The long stretches of scenic highway are a reward in themselves. The beautiful mountain passes, boundless deserts, and cityscapes on the horizon that creep up and become bustling metropolises help make it all worth it. And as the wheels keep on turning, you keep on earning. That's why we've designed Shell Rotella synthetic engine oils. They provide longer drain intervals compared to conventional engine oils to keep you on the road longer and protect your engine against wear, deposits, oil breakdown, and the tough temperatures you may encounter along the way. Shell Rotella synthetic engine oils keep your truck running smoothly wherever the journey takes you. So at your next oil change, ask for Shell Rotella synthetic engine oil and get back on the open road. Shell Rotella, the engine oil that works as hard as you. The Trucker's Jamboree is the biggest truck and party on the planet. This year, the Trucker's Jamboree is going virtual. That's right. We're taking the party online. Visit truckersjamboree.com to enter the antique truck display, Trucker's Best Friend Pet Contest, and Super Truck Beauty Contest. Enter the contest and submit photos by June 30th. America will vote for their favorite trucks and pets starting on July 1st. Then, Eric Harley will announce the Super Truck winners on July 11th. We're even throwing a 100th birthday party for our 1920 GMC virtually with the Iowa 80 Trucking Museum. This year only, the Trucker's Jamboree is online. Go to truckersjamboree.com and enter the antique truck display, super truck beauty contest, and trucker's best friend pet contest. Then, vote starting July 1st. This year, we can't wait to see you at the 2020 virtual Trucker's Jamboree. We're coming on trucker to the Trucker's Jamboree. If you depend on a truck to make a living, then American Trucker Magazine is for you. Each month, the magazine is packed full with information you need in order to keep your truck running and the money rolling. From new products to the latest in regulations and even driver health and wellness, American Trucker has what you need to know. American Trucker's staff knows that you're running a small business, and they work just as hard as you do to bring you news and information that matters. American Trucker Magazine is not just all about keeping your truck on the road. It's also there for truckers looking to buy or sell their vehicles. The American Trucker Marketplace connects you with thousands of buyers and sellers across the country who may have the perfect truck you're looking for. So don't miss another issue of American Trucker Magazine or the American Trucker Free Newsletter. Enrollment is easy. Just go to trucker.com and sign up today. That's trucker.com. Slater Crusaders Unite. The Mike Slater Show. Weekdays at noon. KGB AM. San Diego's Talk. AM 760. This is CBS News on the Hour. Your home for original reporting. I'm Tom Foti in Washington. On the eve of the 4th of July, President Trump went to South Dakota. And to the cheers of mostly unmasked, closely spaced supporters, he attacked recent calls and actions to remove statues of people once considered deserving of them. He claimed that protesters have waged what he called a merciless campaign to wipe out our history and said he would take action going the other way. I am signing an executive order to establish the National Guard of American Heroes, a vast outdoor park that will feature the statues of the greatest Americans to ever live. That order including a huge list of the type of people who could qualify. The calls to remove statues, plaque, plaques, building names and the like follows weeks of street protests, most of them orderly, some not, triggered by the knee killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis and other police deaths in Louisville and in Atlanta. Now in older cases back in the news as Aurora, Colorado near Denver takes action against several officers after pictures of them surfaced reenacting a chokehold connected with the death of Elijah McLean last year. Marie Newman is McLean family attorney. These officers who today we learned posted amusing photographs because they thought it was just so darn funny to reenact the murder of a peaceful young man have finally been fired. 
Turning to the coronavirus pandemic, flaring up again throughout the Sun Belt as the nation celebrates the 4th of July. The world leading U.S. debt count now nearing 130,000. So several of those states are putting reopening plans on at least pause. CBS's Janet Shamlian is in Texas. Galveston Island and so many beach towns rely on this holiday weekend for their livelihood. But this year, health is the priority. And this morning, the signs are up, the beach is closed. But will this gamble pay off? Closing the beaches on a steamy July weekend. Officials say it will be several weeks before they know whether cases drop. And another viral video is making the rounds of an airline passenger refusing to wear a mask. The Spirit Airlines flight was heading to Florida from New York's LaGuardia Airport. The video, which was posted online, shows a passenger who refuses to put his mask on after boarding the plane before takeoff. Spirit says the man, who said he was heading to visit his father who had a stroke, refused to put his mask back on. The Port Authority cop keeps asking him to leave, which the airline says he eventually did. Matt Piper, CBS News, New York. And this is CBS News. Conversations with some of the world's leading national security officials and experts. Intelligence Matters with Michael Morrell. Weekends on the CBS Radio Network. During these unprecedented times, we know you're all worried about your family's health, your job, and paying your bills. Stop the endless debt cycle, especially now. Be proactive and take advantage of unique programs in place to help you get free of your debt. Don't wait for the bills to pile up and the banks to breathe down your neck. The program at Total Financial Freedom can help you get free of credit card debt, internet and signature loans, and even timeshares. You pay only a fraction of what you owe and they even offer a guarantee. Call now at 800-899-8922 to see if you can qualify and receive a free book written by our CEO, The Debt Diet. A plus rated total financial freedom has helped thousands get debt relief without considering bankruptcy during these stressful times debt doesn't need to add to it call now 800-899-8922 and get your free copy of the book to help you at 800-899-8922 that's 800-899-8922. The COVID pandemic has darkened most theaters around the country, but in Western Massachusetts, the show does go on. Sam Litzinger reports. In the Berkshires of Western Massachusetts, the Barrington Stage Company is putting on a show, just not in the usual way. We're starting with 520 seats, and we'll be taking out every other row so that the seats that will be for sale are 163 seats. Artistic Director Julianne Boyd says everything will be different, starting with mandatory masks for the audience. We're going to take their temperature, and they will have to sanitize their hands and then they can enter. The new season opens with a one-man show. It's one actor, minimal set, one costume. I would need no backstage crew. But for audiences, the play's the thing. They want to have fun. They're looking for some great diversion. Sam Litzinger, CBS News. In addition to tensions over the origins of that virus, there could be more of them involving China to U.S. aircraft carriers now conducting exercises in the China Sea. Tom Foti, CBS I'm Dr. Cecilia Burrington. African Americans are more likely to get and die from colorectal cancer than other Americans, likely because African American screening rates are lower. If you're 50 and older and not getting tested, you're out of excuses. Under the Affordable Care Act, the federal government will now require nearly all insurance companies to cover virtual colonoscopy and many other less invasive tests. More importantly, these tests would be covered with no copay. Please talk to your doctor to see which of these tests may be right for you. Don't be one of the thousands to die from a largely preventable disease, which is nearly always treatable if found early. The best test is the one you choose to use. There have never been more fully covered options. Take action. Get screened for colorectal cancer. You owe it to yourself and your loved ones. For more information on virtual colonoscopy, visit radiologyinfo.org.